Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and this is my old mate Kanyan. Kanyan from Calm Clan in the T92, the T92 Tier 8 Premium American Light Tank. One of the first or the second or the third premium light tanks that came out at Tier 8, I know that sounds a little bit wishy-washy, is platooning up with his old mate SG50 2015. That's my old mate Doug. He streams on Twitch. Um, I'll put a link in the description, as long as I remember. Um, Canyon though, Canyon from Calm Clan. He's been a supporter of this channel for a long, long time, and as has Doug from Twitch. And uh, he has sent me some absolutely fantastic replays. And today's replay is no exception. The T92 T8 Premium American Light Tank is often regarded as, as probably one of the not so strong premium tanks in the game. Uh, it came out, um, I came out a while ago. Now <clears throat> I've picked one up. It's got a, a rear turret on the back of a, on the back of a. Oddly shaped hull, I guess you could say. Almost looks like a tank destroyer, but it's a light tank. He's running around on Siegfried line and he's trying to continue to get vision on that Batchat 12T. He really wants that tank gone. And his old mate Doug has just derped the Batchat 12T with artillery. Canyon's already got 320 assisted damage. He did get, um, he got, <coughs> he got a little bit of love from the enemy team, but uh, he's lucky enough to still be full health. A thousand hit points up his sleeve. The WZ-132, however, not so lucky. So it looks like looks like Canyon from Calm Clan. And the T-92 is going to try and take over those spot-eating duties on the western flank of Siegfried Lied, the, the field. And you can see a Lynx 6x6. Of course, that's the wheel tank. He's looking at it. He's saying, I'd love somebody to shoot that bad boy, if at all possible. Looks to me like a Lynx 6x6 might be going reverse. That could be why he's um, not going as fast as all that. Looks like, was that two artillery shells into the Lynx 6x6 that wasn't dug in the M40, M43. It was look, maybe the two other artilleries, both firing towards the Lynx 6x6. That's a Tier 8 French light wheel tank. Canyon up to 851 hit points of damage now. He's looking at trying to maybe snipe a little bit into the Type 61. That's Jack Sparrow. I know that guy. He used to send me replays years ago. Anyway, Canyon from Calm in the T92. Let's have a look at the gun. APCR rounds of standard ammunition in his tank. And that's enough to get rid of the Lynx 6x6. Picking up his first kill. He does get spotted though. 150 alpha damage. 175 penetration with APCR. Eight rounds, 150 damage, 210 penetration, so a little bit more penetration. And he's also got some HE rounds for a little bit more damage and a lot less penetration. Maybe good for uh, maybe good for resetting cap. 238 damage done so far from Canyon from Calm Clan in the T92. Two kills. One of them was my old mate Jack Sparrow in the Type 61. He's platooned up with Doug in SG50 2015. My old mate Doug in the M40 M43. Like I said, he does. Dream on Twitch, and he's a very entertaining man, very nice person as well. 3-1 is the score. He's, he's still on full health, my old mate, Dark Kane. It looks like the enemy artillery clearly looking his way. I reckon he was stunned earlier as well, but uh, again, didn't take any damage, which uh, he'd be pretty happy about. The score's 3-2 on Siegfried Line, and he's looking to get more vision towards the field. He's getting good backup from the Bajetto 46, the Charioteer, and of course that WZ-132, who was uh, nearly taken out early on, looking towards the M40, M43 on the enemy team. Artie hits him once for 129 assisted damage and he looks at him, he puts one into him, takes him down to 117 hit points, pulls back, shoots him and gets a third kill. That's three kills to Canyon from Calm. In the T92, 509 hit points of damage, 1460 assisted damage as he looks now towards the SU-101. That's a tier eight, that's the tier eight um, Russian tank destroyer. The one that it's, I don't know, it's a bit of a, it's, Often underestimated, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. It can, it can bounce shots. Um, it, it can be quite trollish, the armour. I guess that's what people mean when they talk about troll armour. 4-3 the score. So they're winning by one. Um, only one other tank on Canyon's team has got a kill, and that's a Tiger 2. Canyon's got three kills. The enemy team has now got four kills, so it's four apiece. Canyon on three kills, 509 damage done, nearly 2,000 assisted damage. You won't be unhappy with that because the best thing, one of the best things about assisted damage is um, it, it adds to your credits and your score. It doesn't cost you a thing, though. Looks like the uh, T-44's shooting Canyon's way. Artillery, the batch up 155.55, shooting Canyon's way again. He can't fix his crew. His crew are still stunned for another seven seconds. He's just trying to get the angle right. The T-44 on 91 hit points. Canyon on 653. Waiting for his um, 
gun to aim. No way, he's no longer stunned. It looks like the T-44 just fired and missed. Auto aims, shoots, kills. That's kill number four, and that's evened up the scoreboard again. Six, six. Six, seven now as the Tiger 2 goes down. Four kills to Canyon. 901 hit points of damage done. Doesn't sound like a massive amount of damage, does it? But he's got 22, 46 assisted damage. He's certainly um, leading from the front foot. The... Uh, his teammates, though, the Charioteer and the WZ, they are, they are backing him up. But look at the minimap. The city is well and truly lost. The enemy team have won that city. There's a T-30 and a J-Panther trying to hold on to the city. But the, the enemy team, the T-30, the Louis, the ISM, the, uh, ooh, the Type 4 heavy tank and the T-10, all just running running amok in the city. Three artillery pieces on Cadian's team have, have done the right thing and moved over to the to the one line because that's um, often you might see artillery stay here whilst the city's lost they might stay up there in the northeast and just get owned by the enemy tanks six seven is the score on siegfried line 901 damage done from the old mate canyon from calm clan in the t92 the tier 8 premium american light tank 2246 hit points of damage done and now you can see the enemy team really pushing into canyon's teammates after winning the city. The T-30 gets a kill on the low, which evens the scoreboard up again. Good old Dougie gets a kill on the ISM, and um, Canyon now looking towards the T-10. Wants to get rid of some of these top-tier tanks. The enemy have got four tier nine tanks. Canyon's team only have two, the T-30 and the Batchat 15555, and that T-30 might be in a little bit of trouble. As Canyon continues to shoot the side of the T-10, but the, the Russian heavy tank proving to be challenging to penetrate. Type 4 heavy tank, it looks at him, got him once for 167 damage, one more might be enough if he can penetrate the shot, can he? Looking for a weak spot, who cares about weak spots? The T92, I thought it had a bad gun, that's 5 kills to Canyon from Calm Clan. In the T92, 1347 damage done, 2246 assisted damage, he's carrying this game on his own. Every time the enemy team start to push their advantage, Canyon in the T92 just says, no man, you're not going to do that. Um, I'm going to continue to carry this game. The T10 on the enemy team is going straight for Canyon in the T10. Look at him. He's on one kill. Canyon is getting the hell out of here. He doesn't want to fight the T10 frontally. He wants to live to fight another day. The Charioteer. Looks like the Charioteer is getting brave and looking to make a, a flanking maneuver on either the T10 or the T30. Hopefully he doesn't get... Um, hopefully he doesn't get flanked. What's the T30's name on the enemy team? Sad life with no hair. Are you sure this isn't the Aussie server, Canyon? Some of these in-game names are out of control. Artillery, SG50, 2015. My old mate Doug gets the kill on the enemy French artillery, but unfortunately the um, Charioteer and the WZ132 both get taken out in quick succession, and now Canyon's got more carrying to do with a score back to 10-11. 13-47 damage done. 2,246 assist. Five kills, and Dougie's... Doing his job with two kills in the M40, M43. Canyon gets some vision for his team of the T10 who's trying to cap this thing. The T10 is on 600 odd health. He gets some more assisted damage. Another 314. That brings the that brings the T10 down to a much more manageable level. There you go. Dougie goes for the kill shot. Doesn't quite get it. There's a T30. Wants to be careful about this T30. There's one shot into the Tier 9 American turreted tank destroyer. Two shots leaves him on six hit points. You'll be saying, you're joking, aren't you? Third shot gets the kill, confirms the top gun, and yet again evens up the score 11-11. Canyon showing great map awareness now. You can see the SU-101 is charging towards his platoon mate and good friend Doug in the M40, M43. And Doug's still on full health. Looks like somebody has... Um, Shot and stunned the SU-101. Canyon wants to kill him. He's on 133 hit points. There's kill number seven. And now they're ahead. 12-11's the score. Three artilleries and Canyon up against the heavy, a TD, and one artillery piece. The Scorpion G is charging towards Canyon. Canyon's going to use his maneuverability to try and dodge the shells from the premium German tank destroyer. He switched to HG. He shot him again, takes him down to 200 hit points. His crew gets stunned. Canyon will be very happy that the crew was stunned because that will mean that the Scorpion G would have less chance of hitting and penetrating the T-92. The enemy artillery just fired and that's going to leave uh, the T-10 is certainly going to be the next one on the hit list for Canyon and his old mate Doug in the M40 M43. The artillery just fired towards the T-10. Canyon's on seven kills. He's one kill away from a Radley Walters folks. T-10 is on three 
43 hit points. Kanian's only on 241, though. 241 hit points is enough for the T10 to shoot him with one shot. No problems whatsoever. Also enough for the FV207 to shoot him with one spot. Kanian from Calm in the T92 on nearly 3,000 damage done. Over 3,000 assisted damage. Going for a different angle on the T10. The T10 is quite possibly hiding around that pillbox. Artillery just fired towards the Tier 9 Russian heavy tank. He's got to be in there somewhere. God, he's got to see him, surely. Surely you can see him. <coughs> Pardon me. He's turning around looking for another angle on the T10. The T10 we know is a one-shot. He's on like five hit points or something. Maybe he's changing his mind. He's talking about going for the cap. The FV4207 has been spotted this game, and he was spotted on the southern cap. Kanyan's on seven kills. He's not interested in the Radley Walters. He's interested in confirming the win. He's probably pretty confident that he can get to the enemy cap and um, he's confident that he can get to the enemy cap and cap this one out in three minutes before the T10 can get back for the reset. That's probably not a bad move when you're only on 241 hit points. He's driving around hoping for maybe, maybe to catch the FV207 unaware. Can't find him. Wants to maybe get rid of the FV207 first because the FV207 um, could reset. He certainly could reset indeed. There's um, one on cap. It's his old mate Doug. The Batch at 15555 also on cap. The GW Tiger P going for the derp shot on the um, on the T10. Canyon on seven kills. 2,759 damage done. Artillery gets the kill on the T10 from the enemy cap circle. Where's the FV207? There he is, and Kane is going to say, no worries, man. Thanks very much. I will take that Radley Walters, if that's okay with you. 15-11 in the end. Three seconds left on the cap. Not a bad game from the old mate Kanyan. Kanyan from Calm Clan. You can see what I mean when I say that his, 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 his victories and his... Um, Replays that he sent me are always pretty fast and furious. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge for the old mate Canyon from Calm Clan. In the T92, the T8 Premium American Light Tank. The Spotter Medal for all that assisted damage. Bruiser Medal for doing some crew and modular dam damage at least five times. Possibly with those HE rounds into the Scorpion G. Uh, fire for effect, 13 bonds. Count them, folks. 13 bonds. It's, this is the kind of... This is how you get your bonds by playing games like this. Radley Walters for those eight kills. Orlix medal for getting two kills of higher tier in a light tank. Pascucci's for killing those two artilleries. Patrol duty, top gun. Of course, brothers in arms to get uh, three kills each and survive in a platoon. 1,701 base experience. That's without, that's, that's not... The daily double, that's not the premium account multiplier. That's the base score, 1,701 base experience. 2,911 hit points of damage. Eight kills for the Radley Walters. He fired 33 shots, 29 hit, 23 penetrated. Um, 3,451 assisted damage. That would certainly have contributed to not only Ace Danker, but also... Um, also the credits. And not bad, not a bad game from the old mate Doug in the M40, M43 too. Uh, certainly helping to uh, to win and carry that game. And look at those credits, 108,500 credits. That's with a premium tank, premium account. No boosters running though. That's because of all that assisted damage. That's what I was talking about during the game. 3,000 assisted damage is certainly going to be a profitable experience, especially in a premium light tank. Once again, thanks for the replay, Kanye and, and Dougie. Don't forget to check out Dougie on Twitch. He's an absolute legend as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. Yeah, I thought he was gone for some of that. I really didn't. I thought, I oh, know he's good. I know he's good. But uh, he certainly carried the hell out of that one. Thanks again, Kanye. What an absolute ripper. Don't forget to check us out on Twitch, Facebook, Discord. Links are all down below. And, um, yeah, let's let's move. Let's let's make it happen. Let's make it happen in 2019. Check us out on Twitch for more uh, frivolities. This is, and this is my old mate Ducky down here, the little yellow tank. I reckon he's an absolute legend as well. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz.